Good morning, Hawks. This is Friday, April 5th, 2024. Please stand for the pledges of allegiance and moment of silence. And now the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Thank you. Tomorrow, Saturday, April 6th, is our first Saturday school back for the spring. You must be on time at 8 o'clock. They will not leave the doors open for you. So if you're not here at 8 o'clock, you will not be able to get in. Also remember your school ID, a charged Chromebook, and work to do. All BHS rules um, apply. Make sure that you are making up your hours. You are going ahead. If you have hours to make up, get those done. Okay, we were just talking about makeup hours. That is why it's very important that you talk to your teachers and to the attendance office if you have any questions about your attendance, um, if you think anything is wrong or anything at all, um, so that you know if you do owe hours or you can get anything um, that is not right straightened out, anything at all. So make sure that you are checking your attendance and focus. Okay, I need you to pay very close attention to this. I want to thank Nurse Amber for giving me some more information about how important it is for you to wear the glasses when looking at the eclipse. Even if you are to stare at the eclipse without those glasses on for even seconds, it can permanently damage the retina in your eye, which will keep you from being able to see. When you look at it, yes, you may not feel pain, but it will do permanent damage. So when we are outside and we're getting ready to look at the eclipse, you must wear the special glasses that your teacher will hand to you. So do not act like a goofball and take them off because you think, oh, I can look at it for a second without the glasses. You absolutely should not look at it without the glasses. So keep them on and keep your eyes safe. Okay, this announcement is very important also. Next Thursday on the 11th, those of you who are in English 1 and 2 are taking the end of course star testing um, test. Okay, junior and seniors, you can arrive late at 930. Now listen, very important, those of you who are testing, you must bring your charged Chromebook, okay? You must bring your charged Chromebook. We do not have a bunch of extra computers for you to get. So you must bring a charged Chromebook. This is, I keep saying it over and over because this is how important it is. Now, if your Chromebook is not working somehow, you need to bring it to the library to me or to Mrs. Garza so that we can get it taken care of, okay? It's very, very important that you bring a well-working Chromebook, school-issued Chromebook. If you have your own Chromebook, you need to come get a, a school-issued Chromebook for your testing. So it's very important that on Wednesday when you, or Thursday, sorry, on Thursday when you come to take that test, you must have a charged 
well-working Chromebook. Okay, seniors, it's time to get your prom tickets. It will be Monday, April 8th through Friday, April 19th. You can buy them by going to myschooldance.com and the prices are $70 a ticket. If you are planning on buying prom tickets, make sure that before Monday you set up your myschooldance.com account, okay? So follow these steps. This is also in our daily newsletter. But to make sure you go in to that web address and that you go ahead and you set up your account. This will help um, keep a lot of frustration down. Okay, attention hawk time. So Stuco is sponsoring a snack drive competition. They are um, going to ask you to bring snacks that will end up going to... Um, our Birdville Elementary Schools um, for those kids who are not able to have a snack. So it is going to be a competition. The hot time that wins first place is going to get canes. Second place will get a popcorn party. So start bringing those snacks in. It starts on Monday, Monday through Friday at the 8th to the 12th. So you could bring cookies, fruit snacks, chips, um, all those snacky things um, that kids like to eat. You cannot bring any beverages. Make sure that um, they are lightweight, that they are individually packed. Um, so let's help our elementary students of the district get some great snacks. Seniors, start paying attention to all these upcoming dates for late arrivals. Uh, for senior week, for assemblies, all of those things, really start paying attention to our newsletter and to announcements. Add to that, make sure you're checking your Canvas inbox and your email for announcements from your counselors and all of that. This is for seniors. Um, start really paying attention to all the announcements, like I said earlier, because you will start getting things um, almost daily. Starting next Wednesday, students will be able to vote for their class officers and Stuco executive officers. The ballots will come in your Canvas inbox from your counselors. Our Stuco state project this year, able to see the need, Student Council has been working on addressing the interconnected issues of resource scarcity and security in our communities. Stuco has created a central resource to share with our students that provides resources to local advocacy centers and food banks. The web link can be found on the at Birdville Stuco Instagram page or and QR codes to access the information um, that will be strategically placed around the campus. If you need help, here's a great place to start. Okay, hopefully you've seen the in the video on BHS is um, Instagram, but here is the Cardi Tardy Challenge. So if you are not tardy to any class, you are put into a drawing and at the end of the week, they are going to draw four students and there are tons of prizes, all sorts of things. So um, get to class on time. Stay sweet. The sophomore class is having the first annual Birdville Bake Off. You can have four people on your team and there are only 15 team slots. So get a team together and make a have an appropriate school name and join the sophomore class um, in a Bake Off. Don't forget at 310 all students should be out of the building unless you were without a if you were with a teacher or a sponsor. Subscribe to our daily newsletter. Well, that's your news for today, Hawks. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend.